Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been playing it while not streaming. That's that's what I'm. I sh game while streaming, and then when I'm not streaming, I game some more. It's totally not addicted to gaming. But uh, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying the City of Heroes for for fun. So well, let's jump into the Satisfactory though. Uh, into our Cookie Factory. See what we're doing. A Cookie Factory, accompanied by our little doggo named Cookie. But yeah, this City of Heroes is what is my current. I mean, sometimes I'll be addicted to, addicted to Path of Exile when I'm not streaming right now. City of Heroes is the one that I'm kind of playing and. Who knows how long I'll enjoy it, but I'm having fun playing that right now. So, you're gonna play some. Uh, you're gonna play some uh, Sea of Thieves tomorrow, I think, or is that tonight that you're playing Sea of Thieves? Sounds like you enjoyed that the first time you played with. Uh, would you play it with Mike and Mike and Richard? I guess. Nice Sea of Thieves, awesome. Well, hopefully, you enjoy it. It's funny. I was watching. Um, Co and it me JP were doing we're watching one of those like I think it was Microsoft's you know reveal of the next stuff they're releasing and one of the things they talked about was Sea of Thieves and they were talking about how none of them really liked the game but one of them was like well the water's good in the game yeah best water in gaming <laughs> like the realistic water or whatever Mike Richard and Pi are your crew now nice so Pi is gonna join you as well very nice water is great in the game best water in gaming as they said. <laughs> Alrighty, so satisfactory time. Um, I think I think the first thing I want to do is I think we're gonna be working a lot with um, we're gonna be working a lot with our oil stuff. So I need to make I need to make a way to get over there. So I need probably gonna need a lot of copper sheets because I want to make a uh, I want to make a a tube to get over there. Transport tube over over there so that's that's what we're gonna do so i think i'm gonna do i need to make a platform from here to over there to do that i wonder if i need to do that um because if i don't make a platform it'll like be going down along the ground which i don't really want so i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna make like a i guess something like this and the two will go along We'll go along top of this thing as we have this take us over to our uh, our oil refinery over here. You killed a crew and wrecked their ship last stream. Not exactly sure how you did it, but you did it. Wow. Okay. Nice. Did you like steal their treasure? That's one thing. That was one of the things I didn't like about Sea of Thieves is this like non-optional PvP. So <laughs> like people could try to steal your treasure. I remember me and. Tim and I think it was just me and him. I think there were like three of us playing one time and got got attacked by some people. We're trying to hide from them, so as we're trying to turn in our tre buried treasure for the rewards or whatever, they blew up your ship. So you blew up their ship, and then you all died. <laughs> Good times, man. Good times. That's crazy. Right, let me do uh let me do the double small double ramp here so foundations let's see small double ramp that should be this guy here i believe approaching others clearance really oh i need to do it here that's right there they died too you may you met them all in the afterlife <laughs> Did you say, hey, great fight, as you were dead dead to each other? Or were you all mad and yelling at each other? Great, I'm going to have a wire going right through this thing. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Something like... I want to kind of guesstimate the right height here. Something like this, I think. So, this guy here... You just saw each other wave and went on her own merry ways. Okay, nice. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having fun with it. That game is that game is pretty crazy. This game's pretty crazy. Sea of Thieves. Live your live your best pirate life. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting because it's gonna be on top of these refineries, so probably need to try to go above these guys if I can. Let's go up one more and hope that will go above 
I think this will not encroach on anybody's clearance here. On anybody's clearance, clearance. Roger, roger. Okay. The way I've placed this, if I put any more refine... No, I, I made it high enough that we, uh, we're above the refinery, so that should be good. Alright, so what I'm probably going to do is have an entrance on that side that will go all the way across to our base. I wonder if I'll be able to connect this at all, actually. If I do that... And... That... This isn't going to line up perfectly because these are two different foundations we're kind of meeting up here. So, what's the best way to do this? I guess we'll just have it, like, kind of overlap here. A little... A little funky there. Um, it might be best if I just have that ramp. I get as close to the ramp without overlapping, which would be, like, here. And then... Um, let's see here. Let me do this. And like that. And this. And then we'll have the, uh... Have the transport tube go through there. Uh, we're actually using these walls here, I believe. Yep. Hey, what's up, Ganjana? Time for some compare, Conveyor Belt Simulator 20, 2K20. That's right. Conveyor Belt Simulator. It's, it's time for math on stream. That's what it is. So, uh, I need a wall tube, a wall tube hole, a wa tube wall hole, tube wall hole. What a, what a name for a thing. And, um, let's get, I'm actually going to move this guy to be above this thing. I can do multiples here. So, I need a wall power guy. Oh, was that plugged in down below? Oh, crap. I fell. Was that plugged in down below? How am I plugging in up here? That actually... Yes, whoops. I just uh, unplugged everything. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We do that. We do that and this is gonna hurt let me put on my jetpack here I just took away power to everything by doing that that guy down to that guy now we should be good now I should see everything plugged into everything There we go. Uh, this is the weekly salt relief game. That's right. To recover from our, all our FTL salt, we must... We must play... We must play some satisfactory recover. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Do a tube here. We're gonna do a tube that goes all the way to our main base. Have this be kind of right in the middle. Alright, so this is going to be our transportation from our main factory over to our oil refinery area station. Okay, pipe is too long. Let's go right to the max length. Which is right there. Okay. And then about here. Beautiful. How are you doing, Math Champ? How was your uh, How was your Tuesday starting off? In the chill Tuesday. Tube is too long. You don't tell me what's too long. So oh, I'm gonna need more steel steel pipes for this, and more um, copper sheets. Right, let's go get more Thank steel pipes and follow. steel pipes and copper sheets. Thank you for following. Ooh, that's 
Oh, I guess that's because I changed shape there. Why do those not line up correctly? That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Um, I guess I'll leave that there for now. I'll take get rid of that once we are uh got this tube all in place here. Alright, so steel tubes and copper sheets. My copper sheets are upstairs, my steel tubes are over here, I believe. What's up, Imzas? How are you doing, uh, Joshua Martin Play? You followed as well. Appreciate that. I wonder why the follow... Oh, I do see a few seconds ago. I wonder why the follow no notification didn't go off. What? I see it on my mini feed, and it didn't show that... It didn't uh, do the notification. Now, that's... That's not cool. Uh, I might have to check into that. Okay, that will hopefully be enough. And then copper sheets... I do not know why I didn't give the follow notification. Alright, I want to, you know, I want to also make it so I can get up to the next floor, kind of like I did in the other place. So, I need to place a, another, I don't want to do this. I want to do a little platform here on the catwalk. On the catwalk. So we do that, and we'll do a jump guy right here. Uh, I have jump jump things somewhere. Here we go. Eight here. See, it's that guy. Okay, I just need to power you now. Where do I have a power line? I have a power line way the hell over here. Let's grab, grab that. Wires too long. Come on. There we go. It did do the notification? Well, I didn't make the sound. Like, I didn't hear it. Why didn't I hear it? What the hell? I didn't hear that. Thank you for the follow. Follow. Thank you for following. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the song. You gotta get the song or else... It's not cool, man. It's not cool if I don't get to hear the song. I'll have to see if my other notifications are working or something. Bam, bam, bam. Do kind of a thing here to... Give us a safe walkway here. Okay, and we don't have a next level yet, so we'll have a, we'll set up a next level when we need to. Best jingle, 100%. Nice, thanks, guys. Glad you like it. What am I building? Uh, currently, I am building a transport tube to get me between my main factory and my, um, whatchamacallit? My main factory and, uh, the refinery. So, the thing that I was talking about last week that I wanted to make, I, I made a platform Oh, don't die. Okay. Made a platform. Now I'm just uh, making the actual tube. You got nothing for me, Cookie. That is, Satisfactory is basically Factorio and Subnautica. Yeah, that's a good that's a good description of it, Edward Roth. And it's really, really good. I would say it's less Subnautica because Subnautica has got like a survival story. This doesn't really have that. This is like Factorio in Subnautica viewpoint. Because there's, there is little to no survival story in this game. Little to no survival story in this game. There's a bit of a, you know, you there, there's a corporation up in the sky that you're collecting resources for, but it's mainly just an excuse to build stuff. <laughs> it is just an excuse to build stuff. But yeah, that is a good description of the game, though. A good, uh, kind of sound bite to describe, you know, the type of game this is. Alrighty, there we go. So we got a tube leading from our main factory to our refinery. Let's 
check it out, make sure it works. Is it possible for you to play with me? Uh, Joshua Martin, it's possible, but I don't really want to play with people. Honestly, I'm building my own factory, and I've built this entire thing from scratch by myself, so I don't really want to uh, have help on it. So, if I was doing a viewer type thing, I would do that, but I'm not doing a viewer type thing, so... It is possible, though, because there are, like, people create servers and games for people to join them. You felt like in Zymnotica, the stuff you can build isn't really too crazy compared to Factory or Factory or Oni or even Vanilla Minecraft. True, when I played, um, uh, Subnautica, I did a lot of the building, but it's not a major part of the game, I would say. Uh, the building, I mean, it's it's an important part, but it's not, like, super extensive, like, something like this, where you can, like, actually build a, guy, a, a, a giant factory, build crazy stuff. Alrighty, so now we can get back between our oil, whoops, I did not mean to do that, our oil refinery and our main base. Next, we need to decide, I think it's time, we we now have lots of power, right? The fuel generator, I have... About 2,000 megawatts, 2 gigawatts, I guess, uh, of power we can play with, which is awesome because we haven't been able to do any uh, automation for a while. So I guess the next question is, what do we want to automate? Um, we have the modular engines and adaptive control units, which we have all the pieces for that. And we have all the pieces for that, too. Um, but I think I want to do some... I think before I get into that stuff, I actually want to do some of the uh, crystal stuff. What is the what is the crystal stuff? Quartz stuff. Um, because I had some of that going, and then I got rid of it because I needed space. So let me, let me look at some of the quartz stuff I want to do, because... Um, I have quartz coming in. I want to do quartz crystal... And then, because uh, the, the oscillators, that's, that's I think, a thing I need to get going. The oscillators, I think, are used for other things, too. And I don't have those automated. So, if I wanted to get oscillators going, what would that take? That would take, wow, it takes manufacturers, huh? You know, I don't have black powder automated, either. I don't have AI limiters, either. Wow, those take copper sheets, so I'd have to increase my copper sheet production. I'm going to need to get those going eventually. Um, so if I want oscillators, oscillator, my thermal regulator, crystal oscill oscillator, the quartz crystal cables and reinforced iron plates. And this one would take rubber at AI limiters and less crystal. Hmm. I feel like this one would be the easier one, but I don't have AI limiters going. Yeah, Subnautica is a lot more about exploring in the single player story. It really is. You can build cool things aesthetically in Subnautica, but you can't really automate them. Yeah, it's more about Subnautica is a different type of game. It's a survival exploration game. This is an automation exploration game. More like you're building outposts to store your stuff and have things interact with to craft stuff or scan resources to survive. It's mainly survival, exploring, and following the storyline. Yeah, for sure. But it's a great game. Very great game. I love I love Subnautica. Alright, I think I I think I want to do this build. Which means I need to get AI limiters. Which is quick wire and copper sheets, which is not bad. I wouldn't mind actually having some extra copper sheets. Um production. Because reinforced iron plates are just a pain in the ass to automate. I just and they're slow and cables are kind of a not the best. So I think I think this is what we'd want to do. We'd want to do AI limiters into insulated crystal oscillators. Of course, quartz crystal. So I feel like that wouldn't be too hard to get going. We already have the rubber automated, and we're not using it for anything. Uh, it would be just getting this. This automated as prerequisites for this. Because I'm pretty sure uh, these oscillators are used for other stuff too, right? 
I think some of the other high-end things need crystal oscillators, right? I do know that they're needed at least for research stuff that I have to do that I haven't done yet, so I kind of do want to get those going. You played Satisfactory with a friend for quite a while, but they don't play anymore. You should play again by yourself. It's, it's This is a game where you can spend hours by yourself doing stuff, which <laughs> sounds like a, a very nerdy thing. But if you like playing games by yourself, this is a great one. You, I am like 90 plus hours into this playthrough and I'm getting, I'm to the, like the highest tier of stuff, I think, but you know, it gets more and more complicated the further you get into the game. So, all right. I wonder if I have enough room on this floor to do this. Cause I'd need quartz. I need copper sheets and AI limiters. I don't quite know if I have. Maybe what I do is on this floor, I do all the prerequisites for it. And then the next floor is where we do the actual final product. Let's see. Um, let me actually start the next floor so I can get an idea of how much uh, production we would be able to make happen with this thing. So it would be one, two, three kind of want to go one more level higher otherwise we overlap with these things but I'm just gonna I want to keep everything consistent so it would be like this here that will be the corner that's not what I meant to do get rid of that guy okay Am I playing on the first map? Uh, I'm playing the desert. Uh, what do you mean? It's all the same map. Um, but I am playing on the desert biome, which is, I think, the most recent biome they added. Yeah. So how do I do it? I do a space and then a jump pad. So there would be a jump pad right here. This would be this guy right there. Uh, if you like playing games by yourself, is streaming. Yes, yes, it's, it's, for streaming, it's great. <laughs> it's a great game for streaming. Because it's a game you play by yourself for hours and hours and hours. Although this game is actually a great game to play with friends too, if you have friends that like this kind of game to play with you. Because you can play this with other people. And I'm sure there are people that have crazy, you know, kind of like Minecraft, where you build a crazy, you know, giant world with crazy factories together and stuff. All right, so I'm going to need lots of concrete and metal to build up another floor here. Uh, this thing is not... It's power. Why is it not... Did I not... I didn't figure out how I wanted to set up my tube for this yet, did I? Yeah, uh, okay. Well, for now, we'll just go down with this guy. So iron plates and concrete I need to get. So one map, you just start on a different spot. Yes. Is this one harder? Um, I don't know about being harder. Uh, it's like, you know, um, you have different available resources depending on which map you start on. This one, it was harder to find water because we're in a desert. And once I found it, it's not that bad. And then I'm going to fill myself up with concrete, which is up on the second floor. Um... I actually like this map because it's got a lot of wide open spaces. So building a big, giant, large factory was... I'm not running into a lot of vertical stuff getting in in my way like trees or mountains or cliffs or some of the stuff that's in some of the other biomes, I guess. Hey, we finally have lots of concrete. That's great. That is great. Crystal oscillator needs an, uh, on, needed on radio control units. What are needed in turbo motors? Okay, so so crystal oscillators are used for some other late game stuff. So, and they're they're also needed for the main reason I want to get them is crystal oscillators are needed for uh, for uh, some of the the MAM upgrades I need to get going. So that's that's the main reason why I want to get that one going next because I haven't done much in the way of crystal uh, automation at all. So. Okay. 
let me finish, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a little bit of a building stream to start the day. Let's get the, this floor done if we're gonna add floors on top. So a bit of a relaxing building stream. Get my walls filled in here. Sounds cool to play a game. It's super fun. I love, I, I really enjoy playing this game. Really, really enjoy it. It gets pretty, um, like if you want, to, it's, it's like Factorio. If you, you know, don't plan your builds well, then you can get some crazy spaghetti and not clean builds that gets worse and worse the later in the game you go. So I've been trying to plan and do math or my build since the beginning, so. Hey, what's up, Tyler? Said what we're working on? I'm gonna add another floor because I'm gonna automate crystal oscillators. I built, uh, so far all I've done today is I built a, um, I've built a, a hyper tube that goes from my main factory over to the uh, oil refinery. That's all we've worked on so far today. And we're now building, we're going to build some stuff here. That's going to be prerequisites for getting crystal oscillators automated. And then I might look at getting um, some of the other things that I have pieces for building. That I have the pieces I've already built but haven't got them assembled into some of the other like automated wiring stuff or whatever. Okay, so let's do, um, so this floor here. This is going to be... The next floor up, which is going to supply stuff for the, whatchamacallit, for the uh, crystal oscillator Excel itself. So, what I want to do here is, we want to do a big, long... I need to do the, the outside to build, to quickly build a new floor. Like we learned last week from, I think it was a factoid. We need to do one complete side, and then the other complete side... And then we can fill it in really quickly. Sure, this has been asked before, but do they make walls with windows? They do, I, and I actually have windows on my bottom floor. But I'm not putting windows every floor because... Um, I just don't want to. I could, but... I want to change up the look of the, look of the place a bit, I guess. I don't want every floor to have windows. We need we need them when they work inside. You know, it's like that thing um, when when in the office building. If you let your people look outside, they might not work as hard because then they see what they're missing. <laughs> Is that how that works? Wait, no, probably windows with view make them even be more productive. I, I don't know. We gotta we gotta keep our people focused here. No looking outside. Yeah, there's there's windows on the bottom floor. When you're on the bottom floor, you can see outside. But once you're in the factory, you're working. It's all work and no play. We're making Jack a dull boy around here. All right. So how do we want to do this? So I just need to get it so that um, I'm on the correct level. Okay, is this the is this the eye level here? Oh gosh, it's too far. Crap. Okay, well I need to go. I need to get to the level where I can reach it. There we go. Okay, so that's not the right one. I need to be up one level here, I believe. I think it's one more up. Is this one right? Nope, one more up, I think. We want it to be perfect eye level so we can just do this. Okay, that's right. Okay, do this. This. Get rid of all these extra pieces. There we go. And what we would do is we build this bridge across. And then we fill in all the stuff and we can make a new floor pretty darn quickly here. Beautiful. Sad workers are productive workers. That's right. You can build 11 tiles. What does that mean? Oh, is that that is that the distance you can 
that's how far you can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I went one further than I needed to. Okay, cool. Good to know. You can see 11 tiles away, I guess, or build 11 away. Time to watch flying concrete fly through the sky. With the greatest of ease. Like the amazing man on the flying trapeze, or however that song goes. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. Uh, yesterday you mentioned you'd do an FTL tier list. Have I already done it, or will I do it later? No, I'm doing it Thursday. So this Thursday, uh, it's actually, you can see it, I put in my stream title. This Thursday, I, I only have time to do a short stream this Thursday, because I'll be doing some singing stuff. Oh, crap. I'll be doing some singing stuff um, during the day tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to... Uh, not going to be able to do a full stream. Not, not tomorrow. Uh, Thursday. So on Thursday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my stream at like 3 o'clock, which is... I'll get done, hopefully, with my recording stuff at 2, come home, eat some, eat some lunch, and then I'm going to put together kind of a spreadsheet... Uh, I was actually thinking about it last night. As I, after my stream, I was doing my workout stuff, thinking, okay, how am I going to do this? How is this tier list going to work? So I started coming up with, in my mind, the kind of criteria of how I'm going to like rank the different weapons based on their different st statistics. And um, uh, the different weapons and the different statistics and then the, sh and then the ships. So I'm going to try to do a weapon tier list and a ship tier list. That's the plan. So, still ending around five? Yeah, yeah. Because on Thursday, uh, I always end at five because I, I always have other stuff I got to do after the stream. Not least among those things, highlight the stream to upload everything to YouTube. But this Thursday, I actually have a rehearsal with my uh, vocalese singing group because we're going to do a... We have a gig a week from this coming Saturday. I think that's right. To uh, sing The Sound of Silence, the Pentatonix version for a... Surprise, surprise, um, engagement. I know, we're doing Sound of Silence as an engagement song. I don't know why, but apparently it's the guy's fiance, or hopefully future fiance, fiance's favorite song. So we're singing the pentatonic version of Sound of Silence. Uh, for, uh, for a gig. So we gotta do, we gotta get together for rehearsal. This, I think it's just some concrete, right? Yep. So I gotta, I gotta end at five on Thursday. I very rarely go late. Occasionally I'll go late if we're like in the middle of an FTL run or uh, we're working on something in this and I just want to finish a build and I don't have anything that night, but I often, I do a pretty good job of staying busy. I guess that's what I'll say. Do a pretty good job of staying busy. Okay, we're going to do two floors. This Because this floor is just going to be supplying the stuff for the floor above. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. I definitely know how to keep myself busy. That's 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 for sure. Two sounds of silence in sign language for extra levels of silence. <laughs> be like uh, Napoleon Dynamite, where they do the, you know... What, are, what do they call themselves? The, like, happy hands... Glee Club or something where they don't actually sing. They just stand there and sign sign the song that's playing on a recording behind them or something. <laughs> totally do that. I dated a girl in high school who's uh, who went to school for sign language. And she did that kind of stuff. Signed. You know, it's a performance art to, to sign while uh, music is happening in the background. But I would do the singing part, not the signing part. Because I don't really know sign language. What's up, Moonho? How are you doing, my friend? Her favorite song is Sound of Silence by Simon Garfunkel or just the Pentatonix version? I, I don't know, but the one he requested is the Pentatonix version. I think her favorite version is the Pentatonix version. So I'm guessing maybe she's a big Pentato Pentatonix fan, and that's her favorite song of theirs. That's what I'm guessing. Um, which I don't blame her. It's awesome. We've done we've done that we've done that version in performance before, a couple times. Um, I, I slightly altered the arrangement. I have altered the deal because pentatonic singers are amazing and have kind of incredible ranges. And some of my singers don't have as good a ranges as they do. So <laughs> I need to make, make changes so that 
we can sing it in a way that uh, works for my singer's ranges. So we need to practice the new arrangement that I put together. Sound of Silence doesn't exactly exude the love. Well, I bet it will with how much she loves the song. So hearing hearing a live performance of her favorite song and then him, you know, getting down one knee and popping the question and knowing she paid a bunch of money for him to set this up will probably be, you know, <laughs> hopefully make it special. Holy crap, this uses so much concrete. This is only one floor. The signers during uh, metal concerts are rocking out hard while still signing. Really? I've never seen, like, metal... Like, a, a metal band have sign language going on. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> do they, like, they headbang as they do it? That's crazy. Never heard of that. Yeah, that kind of goes through, but it's fine. Down the previous place as well. Okay, I'm going to just set up uh, the last two things. Uh, actually, that's the last guy there. All right, need more concrete. You want to pick up sign language in college? It's definitely it's definitely a major you can do. Uh, ASL, I think it's called American Sign Language, or at least the in the U.S. that's what it's called. I don't know if that's like the the same uh, what you call it. It's a, it's if it's the same language in other in other countries, or if the other countries have their own. I don't know, Canadian SL, CSL, I don't know. <laughs> okay, sorts. I probably have too much other stuff that's cluttering me, but, you know, it's... I don't want to lose any of this stuff, because I, I don't want to lose it, because I will be using it. And if you don't use it, you will lose it. As they say. That guy better get some loving after that. Well, I mean, if they're getting engaged, there's probably going to be some loving going on. <laughs> kind, kind of the point, right? Oh, that hurt. That's kind of the point, I believe. A whole lot of loving going on. Um, it's pretty epic. Can I talk about the metal, the metal signing? I bet that is pretty epic. Uh, isn't sign language for heavy metal just throwing up the horns? <laughs> this is no. They probably. I'm guessing they actually do the, you know, they sign the lyrics because that's what. That's what signers do when they're, um, you know, when they're signing. They're signing the lyrics of the song that's being sung. My church job, they do that. Uh, they are, they, uh, for the different services, have people signing for the deaf community. Oops. It's a, it's a pretty cool gig, I feel like. But it's a pretty cool thing to to get into there's a i'm sure there's a whole community that you get involved in with with doing that just like there's a whole gaming community that we're all overly addicted to being a part of some schools allow you to take it as your foreign language credit you went that route and recommend it. oh nice you can do it as your foreign language that is pretty cool i need to get the power for this level so power would be right here so i need the wall here two 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 three one two three and believe i do these on this level let me check and make sure no i do it between the second and third row there okay okay so let's let's keep it let's keep it consistent Got to keep it separated. Got to keep it separated. It's a good song. Good grief, that's a long way down. It's just our factory just keeps getting taller and taller, man. <laughs> that's We just keep building up and up. Soon we will be a factory in the sky. We are, we are really... I mean, we are actually getting to the top of this, like, giant plateau, which is, like, I think one of the highest points in the game, actually, that you can get to. Pretty crazy. What's up, silly hat man? 
Uh, pro tip, sign language is great for communicating with friends at loud parties and over distances. And if you want people to not know what you're saying and keep a secret. So, sign language sounds like a great, great option for that. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And then get the next floor. All right, so one more floor we got to make before we can start doing our... Uh, automation here. I've been falling down on the job and not been playing as much satisfactory offline to do the busy work, but like I was talking to Shogi about earlier, my current gaming addiction when I'm not playing, when I'm not streaming, is I've been playing an MMO called, an old school MMO called City of Heroes. So when I'm not streaming and not doing other music or etc., 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 other stuff, that's what I'm doing. So. No time for games, because I have to play more games! Ground fell. How can I possibly play other games when I gotta play more games? It's too many games, not enough time in the world, I swear. Okay, so we're gonna do... Do the two... Outer... Again, like the previous... Whoa, did something just disappear? What the hell? Okay, that's some lag. Stuff is just disappearing now. That's not cool. Uh, have I ever done or seen someone use the human tube as a human gun? Yes, I have seen that. Uh, not a Satanist. They call it the, uh, like the cannon or whatever. I was like, uh, it's, I watched a video on that. It looks super cool. Uh, okay, so it went too, too far. Alright, so if I do the other side, and then we have to do it in the middle here. Babies can learn sign language before they learn to speak, which is helpful if you plan to reproduce. <laughs> if you plan to reproduce. Uh, what, a, what a great way to say that. If you plan to, I don't know, spawn something. That's useful to know. Okay, I, I didn't know that uh, babies could learn to sign. Well, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, because like chimpanzee, chimpanzees learn to sign, right? Whole thing with like chimpanzees learning sign language to communicate with their handlers and stuff, which is pretty pretty darn cool. All right, so that's that. Um, then I need to create the lower level to get this in the right spot. Go ahead and do this one right here. Let's finish this level out here. No, nope. did not mean to do that one. Come on. There. You just downloaded a roguelike called Crying Sons. Yes, I have that one, and I keep meaning to play it, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. I think it's that level. Um, from what I've heard, it just doesn't have the replayability of FTL, and I played it in early access, and it was pretty fun. Combat was pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is right. Um... Supposed to be something like Dune meets FTL. You've only put a few minutes into it so far, but the so far the writing is good. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I I from what I remember, the combat wasn't quite as engaging as some other games I've played, but it's probably still worth. Again, I played it in early access, but I haven't I haven't played it since it fully came out. So, again, it's another game like Battle Brothers and monster train that they're on it's on my list to get to and one day maybe i will <laughs> uh, again too many games to play not enough time too many games not enough time doesn't help that all the games i choose to play are games that you can literally literally play infinitely i mean auction not included you can always start a new colony fdl you always start a new run satisfactory always start a new build if you finish this one, do a new one to start a new factory. It's like, uh... Purposefully play games that have just ridiculous amounts of hours that you could put into them because when streaming, that's kind of what you need. Because otherwise, you run out of game to play. Although I guess people like Co Carnage and those guys that like true big variety game streamers like have to only allow themselves a certain amount of time for each game, which would probably drive me crazy. 
Like, we'll be like, oh man, I, I want to play another game, but I can't fit it in the schedule, you know? Because I have to get this game in. And all that. Uh, you would agree about the combat not being engaging, but you've only done like five battles so, so far. Well, it's got, it's kind of interesting because it has like a, like a tile system, I think. You can move your units around. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. I don't know how deep it gets from what I remember. Like the upgrades you can get for your different ships. Um, there are like different types of ships if I remember right. Wow, we are filling up our concrete before we even use it all up. I love that. I like that a lot. Take all. Oh, it's filling up the partially filled one. I don't think it used to do that or something. Yeah. If this crying thumbs I'm thinking of, was that the ones where it's like you have three ships versus three ships? Oh, I can't remember. I played so many different like space roguelite strategy games that they kind of sometimes run together. This is definitely not the same as shortest trip to Earth combat. Short shortest trip to Earth's combat. What are we building today, Sally ha Silly Hat Man? We, I'm working on setting up a new floor for crystal oscillators, and then after that, I might work on um, some of the stuff that's needed for uh, later computer stuff, like I forget what those things are called. The things that advanced wiring is used for and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Holy lag, Batman. Okay. Alright, so we're getting... We're creating two more floors currently to... Set up a new, uh, set up a new floor of automation. Because the current floor that I have, I have some space on my floor down there. I haven't fleshed out, but I'm going to use that, and it's not going to be enough for the next build we're doing. Because crystal oscillators take a, is it called a manufacturer that require uh, for doing more than more than two items to create something. Um. It also has the away team missions, but you don't seem to have much control over those. Vaguely remember those, yeah. It's weird, like... Like, each ship and each character, like, has three abilities or something like that that you can choose from. And it's like, some abilities are strong against certain types of units, so it's all about kind of... It's kind of a rock, paper, scissors type of combat system, if I remember right. Choosing the right unit that is strong against the enemy that you're uh, fighting against. So, which can be cool, but that's part of the reason why I feel like there was not as much um, replayability in, in it, because eventually that, you just always do the correct counter and you always win, and it's not that challenging. But we'll, we'll see. I'll, I, I definitely need to play it again, that's for sure. Oops. Put that guy on top of there. I say rock, paper, scissors. I think there's another word for that. Was that like Rochambeau or something? Or there's probably some technical term for that kind of... That kind of combat or something. You're still learning it, but it all sounds about right? Okay, okay. So it sounds like I'm I'm kind of remembering what, <laughs> what the game was about. It's been... It's been a while. I think it's been a year at least since I played it. I just, I don't remember the last time. I don't remember when I actually tried out. It was, it was in early access. The game only, I think, fully came out earlier this year. So I don't think I'm like super behind the times on it. But because I played a decent chunk of it in uh, early access, that's why I haven't like just jumped on the bandwagon of having to get it in, get, get to playing it since it came out full release. All right, that is two floors we just built in about 20 minutes or so. Not too bad. Probably played about 45 minutes so far, most of which has been game lore. Okay. All right, so this is going to be the floor where we're going to make the oscillators. The floor below is going to be where stuff will flow. The stuff much flow. I think I'm going to do, so we do space and then another, this will be for future, future expansions. Because we are never going to run out of floors for this thing, I think. We're making the the Tower of Babylon that in the Bible just goes up to goes up to the sky. 
Okay, so. Um, what I wanted to do was... Oh, yes, and I wanted to build this floor so I would know... Build a manufactory for... Um, to know what I need for crystal oscillators, like the numbers of things. So, I believe it's like this level. Space and then this. Manufacturer. Let's see how close this is. It's the inputs that I want to be right on the right level. So, I think it needs to be... Yeah, it actually sticks out a little bit. So, I need to go to the left a little bit. It'll let me do that. Right there is where I want it, and it won't let me do that while there's an empty space there, I think. So, I need to fill those in, I believe, to get this, I think, where I want it to be. Okay, so manufacturer. Right there, I believe that's right. Then we do this. We do the inputs, and they fit right vertically down there, just where we want it, yes. And then this guy can go down, and we do a little bit of a uh, platform here, I think. Is this right? I'm not sure if this is exactly right, because I thought I did a... Let me actually go down and check my other, my, my previous one. That build technique is very effective. Which one? Let me see. Does that look right? Okay, that looks right. I just haven't put the uh, things around here. Let me actually put the little platforms around here. So, what did I do? Something like this. I know I built a platform around this, the, the first one I did, but I don't remember exactly how I did it. So, can I do this here? Can't do that there. So, I'll, I'll leave that for now. But it lines up with how I did this one, so that should be right. Uh, I think. Let me, let me make sure. This looks like that's a little to the left of where I did my other one. I think I might have misaligned it by just a bit. The floor building? Oh, yes. The floor building technique is great. That was, I think, was that you, Factoid, who told me about that? Very, very effective way of um, quickly building new floors. Super good. Okay, so. Almost got it right. Almost right. Okay, manufacturer, so it needs to be right there. Nope, it's so too far on this side, right? Yeah. So hard to see on these giant buildings the correct alignment. You have to, like, get a good distance from it to be able to tell. That looks right. I believe that's right. You picked it up from some YouTubers? We cut your factory building time in at least half. Yeah, super useful. All right, so this is going to be... I want to do the alternate crystal oscillators because it uses rubber, which I'm not using for anything, and it also uses AI limiters, which I want to build extra of, so I have those for other things, I, I think. I think that's another thing I want to um, get automated to be able to pull for ma'am stuff. So this is the recipe we're going to do. And this makes 1.9 oscillator a minute. How many does the does the other one do, actually? Okay, so it actually does more and uses fewer resources, which is what we want it to do. So we are definitely going to do the alternate recipe. I'm glad I chose this one. So, I need to power this so I can see the exact amounts. Power up here. Between this guy and this guy. And those are backwards. There. Two. And three. And then the power guy goes through right there. 
And I'm gonna need to put a floor here to, to be able to reach this. So, uh, actually, okay, I do have one on that floor already, good. There. Uh, it uses Caterium, though, so there's a bit of a trade-off. Regular Crystal Oscillators just use Quartz Iron and Copper. Yeah, well, I have plenty of Caterium. I'm not using Caterium. I mean, I, I'm making Quick Wire, and I don't think I'm actually using Quick Wire for anything either. So that's another reason why I want to do this, because I'm not actually using Quick Wire for anything. Um, so this will be this will give me a place to uh, kind of use my Quick Wire. Okay. 13.125 a minute of rubber and then 1.875 a minute of AI limiters. All right. Okay, let me write those numbers down because I'm not going to remember that. 18.75 quartz crystal a minute. Jeez. All right, I need a whole new sheet here. My, I have a sheet just filled up with numbers for all the math we do in freaking satisfactory. So we need 18.75... Quartz crystal a minute. We need 13.125 rubber a minute. Rubber, I just met her. <laughs> what? And then 1.875 AI limiters a minute. And this creates 1.9 crystal oscillators a minute. Now I'm guessing I'll probably want to do two of these. I guess it'll depend. I can definitely supply the rubber for two of these. AI limiters, I don't think we're too bad. So let's say, let's let's multiply this by two. And see if I can do that many. Well, let me, let me, let me see how many um, producers and other things I'd need for one of these. And then we'll see if I feel comfortable supplying stuff to do two a minute. So let's go down to this floor. This is the floor where we have a lot more space to work with, and we're going to start the pre prerequisites for that stuff here. So we're definitely going to want to get the quartz. I want the quartz to be on the far row because I have quartz in that back corner there. Yes, I have the quartz. Because we're going to want to turn the quartz into quartz crystal. All right, so... Um, Quartz crystal limit, 18.75 rubber and AI limiters. So let's see what the AI limiters take. They take two things. They take copper sheets and something else. We're actually doing some copper sheets creation here, but I think I want to do a separate one for this because we already have, yeah, we already have those guys. So if I were to do copper sheets here, we'll see how many we need. This is going to be copper sheets. I actually want to create extras and have the overflow. This time, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to have the overflow join the output of these guys because the overflow will get put into my storage. Help me remember to do that. I want to put the overflow of copper sheets, if we have any overflow, going to the extra copper sheets because that will go into storage for me to grab. That will be copper sheets and then assembler for... Um, how does this one go? This one's the longer one. So it's like this, I believe. Something like this. Does that look right, placement-wise? Um, that might need to go... Yeah, one more forward. Okay. Assembler right there, I believe, is right. Yep, that's good. And this is going to be AI limiters, copper sheets, and quick wire. And I already have quick wire being produced. About to see the amounts we need. I'm Kiblets built a built a mega base that produced a belt line of 270 crystal oscillators per minute. You downloaded his world file once, and your computer choked to death on it. <laughs> I think you sh showed me some of that actually. Okay, 100 quick, quick wire a minute for these AI limiters. I'm going to have to figure out how much quick wire I'm actually currently creating. Because we need 1.875 AI limiters a minute. This is going to create... I mean, one of these is going to create... Enough for two of these guys. 
So if I actually created two of these, that would give me excess that we can put in storage. So let's plan on doing probably that much for, for this here. So uh, let's plan on doing two. Because why produce when you can overproduce? Is that right? I think that's right. And we're going to do the overflow method, I think, for uh, getting this, the excess into storage rather than having to go down and come back up like I did previously. If we plan it from the beginning better, that'll be, that'll be a better way to do it, I think. So, 100 quick wire per minute. So I need 200 quick wire a minute. Let me write this down. So for the AI limiters, times 2 equals 200 quick wire a minute. Quick wire a minute and 50 copper sheets a minute. So 50 copper sheets a minute. That might be tough because these guys only do what? Oh god, they only do 10. Well, I think I have enough space to do exactly 50. So, all right. So much for me making excess. But I guess we can still have the overflow go off if we ever actually, if things get ever backed up. So constructor, so two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, and there. So these are all going to be copper sheets. I wonder if there's an alternate for copper sheets that lets you create more. I can overclock these. I could overclock one if I want to make a little extra, which I might do just because... Copper sheets we use a lot for our hyper tubes and our uh, liquid pipes and stuff. If you do an even number of AI limiters, assemblers, you'll use up 100% of the copper sheets. So if you want some leftovers for storage, build an odd number. Well, I would do a third one of these guys to get even more AI limiters. But then I'd have to do an extra row of, of these guys. Or I overclock them. Because so I need a row for... I don't need a row for quick wire. I need to check how much quick wire we're actually using uh, or making. Because I need 200 a minute. But I do need... What else do we need here? That's the copper sheets for the AI limiters. So that's the AI limiters. When you check the quick wire, we're already making the rubber. So the quartz crystal... Now, is that all I need? I might have had enough space to put this in. Well, maybe I do do an extra one. You know what? Because I want extra copper sheets, I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to do... And I have the space for it. What I'm going to do... That would put the that would be on that would put these guys on this row so I can figure out the numbers here. Assembler. Is that right? That should be right. So if I do three of these guys instead of two. I would create a lot of AI limiters. That would mean I need 300 quick wire. I, I, I really have to check how much quick wire I'm making before committing to this. So let me let me make let me make two of these guys and let me then go check how much quick wire we're currently making. Is that right? Nope, that's not right. Keep getting it off by one space. I think that's right. Am I making 300 quick wire a minute? Quick wire, I feel like, is one of the things that is like you make a lot of them. So I might be making this much, but I don't know. I might actually need to use that extra row for extra quick wire, honestly. To figure out which. God, I wish I knew what, where. I wish I had labels to label where my stuff's being made. Yeah, okay, looking for Caterium. Do I see Caterium anywhere? Concrete. 
that steel stuff over here. It's frames, so it must be another floor down, I think. You end up needing crap loads of AI limiters on, later on anyway. Might as well build extra. Supercomputers need two each. Okay, all right. So it is good to overproduce or produce extra on this. Okay, that's good to know. So I'm looking for, damn it, this is freaking laggy as hell going through my thing here. Okay. All right, where, where are my quick wire at? Rotors or stators, whichever, there's rotors. I think it might be at the end of this floor. I know I'm making it because I'm throwing it there. I see quick wire, I see it. I seize it. That's regular wire. Quick wire. Okay. I th think I'm making a lot. 60. The hell is this platform thing doing here? I don't know what this is. All here. Okay. So two. Three. Four. I think I might be making exactly as much as I need. Five times 60. So I'm making 300 quick wire a minute right now, which is exactly what I need. Now, I'd kind of like to produce more than I need, just so I have some storage. I, this is backed up, so I don't... Um, is You know what? I'm not sending enough Caterium for this, though. I'm producing exactly what I need, but I'm not sending enough Caterium, and I want to overproduce by a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overclock this top one, this first one, and then we're going to we're gonna get more Caterium incoming here. Let me overclock this guy to do... 90. So we're going to do 330 a minute. So 300 a minute is what we need, and we're going to be creating 330. So let me see how much Caterium I need to do that. So 18. Are these guys 10? No, 12. So 12 times 4. 48. 48. Plus 18. I need 66 Caterium in minute. It shouldn't be too hard to get. I'm surprised I'm not getting that much. But I guess I haven't overclocked my Caterium stuff much. So uh, let me get this guy. So I need 66 Caterium a minute. Hey, what's up, Dusty McDowell? How are you doing, my friend? Quick wire is super efficient to produce. 12 Caterium ingots for 60 wire. Should probably make it a lot if you're using up even just a Mark 1 worth, worth of ingots. Well, I'm surprised at how little Caterium I actually have coming in here. Um, I think it's because... Um, I don't think it's because I don't have enough to mine. I think it's because of the way it takes a foundry or something. is, Or the, the speed of refining is why I didn't have this doing enough. So let's, 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 let's increase our Caterium input in our factory here. Is this a Mark I belt or a Mark II? This is a Mark II belt. Good. So we can definitely handle 66 a minute. Um, the question's going to be, can I up, can I get this going fast enough to create 66 a minute? We have two more overclocking spaces worth, so I think we can. So in order to get 66 a minute, 15, we currently have times 4, is... Wait. Wow, I don't even... Oh, no wonder I didn't overclock this enough. Three hundred parts a minute. Okay, three hundred parts a minute. And it takes... Forty-five a minute to create a thing. So, three hundred divided by forty-five. So it takes six smelters. It'll get a little that, that can supply seven smelters, the seventh one not being run at full capacity. And seven times fifth six times fifteen. Ninety. Okay, that would give us plenty. So if I only need sixty. Let's actually do six smelters. Let's do six smelters. So six. Six times forty-five. 6 times 45. 
So I only need 270 a minute. So let's not overclock this too much. We need 270 a minute. There we go. So 270 a minute. So I just need to add two more smelters, and that should give us uh, what we need here, I believe. If my if if my stream math is correct. Hey, what's up, Error? Uh, seven six three four three. First time watching satisfactory stream. Well, prepare for math and fun. <laughs> or if you don't like math, maybe less fun. But definitely, definitely a super fun game that I enjoy playing. That's for sure. Okay, so I'm. Do I put these guys right next to each other? I do. So one, two, this is all I need to add right here. You think I need a bigger belt? Oh, it could be belt. You know what? You're right. I I didn't have fast enough belts when I first made this. So do tier four belt there. And then tier three belts here. And then that should that should that should fix that issue at least. Um, I, I'm gonna have to move this anyway, but yeah, good call. Belt speed, I think, was the reason I wasn't doing as much as I could have. I believe that is the reason belt speed that I didn't have the Mark IV belts unlocked yet. But now I do, so we can do it. We can do the upgrade, upgrading all the things, all these things. Stream math is best math. That's right. You were good at math in high school, so it's fine. Great, good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing, we are smelting here. And I'm out of steel or iron rods. Um, and I don't have any iron over here I can grab, do I? Ugh, okay, I gotta go back for iron rods. Bum, 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 bum. It's good though. I've been needing to upgrade my Caterium stuff for a while. I basically just got quick wire just to have it. I'm not even using this quick wire in any recipes. I kind of just, oh God, lag. I'm just currently just feeding it into one of our awesome sinks, I think. So a lot of the resources I'm making, I'm not using for anything. So like these guys here, I'm not using for anything. The uh, guys I fed into my, uh, Space elevator I hadn't been using. Uh, sort. Two stacks of those. Didn't need a ton. Is there anything else I need? I need more of some concrete. I don't need these staters. Throw these staters in here. Uh, some motors, sure. I think I have more iron plates than I need currently too. Let's grab some. So hard to know what I'm missing. Maybe some wire, but let's grab. Let's grab. I for sure need some concrete. Let's go grab some more concrete. Well, if you like math, you'll love this game, or you'll. I don't know. This this game is more like if you love if you love automation, then you'll love this game. If you love automation nation, you'll love this game. Two, three. Or just do that for now. We all we often use lots of concrete. Alrighty then, let's go expand our Caterium function. Yay for Yay for industry. Yay for industry. Okay. So we want to get 66 a minute, and what we're gonna do is actually create 90 a minute. So I can even do extra quick wire somewhere if I need to. So, uh, smelter, but I just met her. God, God, why do you do this? Why do you do this? Uh, that one is complete. You know what I can do? I can do, I can do upgraded poles now and I should because it uses quick wire. Have I placed the up, have I placed it, did the upgraded poles anywhere? I didn't. Let's put them on this, this thing right here. So let's do. Power, power pole mark two at five. And then walls, what's the window wall I'm missing? This guy at zero. Okay, so if I do this, 
And I put a Mark II po power pole here. Power pole. Oh, it's got seven. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought it only did six. Cool. Now, is it going to grab a Mark II pole or a Mark I pole? Looks like it just grabs a Mark I pole if I don't specify with the wire, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. All right, then we need to redo our um, belts here. So what I need to do is let me get rid of this guy. Three belt that goes there. And then this guy is going to go into a splitter that goes into these two guys. Splitter. Let's line it up here. Line them up. That. I got any Caterium on me. I want to throw it in here. There we go. Caterium and Caterium. And this is a Mark III belt. To make sure these things are all producing at... Uh, Uh, max efficiency or whatever. And I think it, I can do Mark 1 belt in here because it just needs 45 a minute. Yeah, so let's just do Mark 1 belts here. They'll use up some of my iron plates that I have too. There we go. And then these each create 15 a minute. So we can do Mark belts going to a... Mark 1 belts going to a, a merger. This guy, can you go in there without me changing anything? Nope. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have, to have to change this up a little bit. Um, let me make a flat level here. It's gonna be easier to manage stuff if I have a flat level. To manage these splitters and mergers and stuff. So we would do a merger right in the middle of... Oh, wow, that's not even lined up. Did I really do that? Man, past Rand is so lazy and unorganized. He really needs to get his act together. Frickin' past Rand. You know what, it's probably, I was going to say it's probably for the green lines, but no, the green lines are in the right place, so. Okay, so, uh, merger. Right there. Is that right in the middle? There we go. So, mark one. Mark one, beautiful. And then merger here. There. Lazy Rand 117, that's right. <laughs> He's so lazy. There we go. And I need to put these belts in. These are each creating 15 a minute, so that's only 30 minutes, so that's good. And then we do, we'll just do a Mark III belt. Go in here. And we already have Mark II belts in place. So there we go, we should now have um, 15 times 6 a minute. I should now have 90 Caterium a minute. And I only needed 66, so this is extra. But good. Now we have extra Caterium that we can use for other stuff at some point if we need to. Is there an FTL PvP mod? Um, as far as I know, no. Uh, there are mods that I think have some sort of multiplayer thing that I think Biohazard has mentioned before called uh, Hyperspace. Uh, I forget. Or there's another game that's kind of like that. But no, there's I, I don't know of a PvP mod. I know there's one... I don't know. So other people might know better than me, but there's not one that I necessarily know, know of. Uh, not a Satanist. Uh, okay, so that is the Caterium... So that increased my copper, uh, my quick wire production. So we'll need to get the copper wire, uh, copper wire up there to where we're going to be using it. Is that what I want to do next? Yeah, let's get uh, let's get the quick wire set up first. Let's do these things one at a time. 
Well, let me see. Um, quartz crystal. Let's see how much quartz crystal a minute we can produce and need to produce. Let's get that next. So that just solved the issue of not having enough quick wire. Tachyon. That's the one. Tachyon. Check that out. I think that's a, I think that's like a co-op game. It's supposed to be kind of like FTL. I checked it out. The graphics looked kind of, even in FTL standards, a little iffy to me. But um, I think that's the one. It's not a mod. It's a separate game. It's basically FTL clone with multiplayer. There you go. There you go. That's that's what it is. All right, copper sheets. So we are going to have enough quick wire to do three of these guys. So let me set up the third one of these guys, and then we'll figure out the uh, stuff. Production assembler. I believe right there is right. Uh, nope. One space too far. I think that one might be right. There we go. That looks that looks right. So that is AI limiters, and this will give us 15 AI limiters per minute, and we are only going to be using, like, less than three. So we're going to have lots of extra AI limiters, which is apparently going to be a very good thing to have. Uh, it's 100% made out of programmer art. I don't know what programmer art is. So it's the copper sheets that I'm going to need now. So 20, so I need 75 copper sheets a minute now. We're making 50. And I wanted to make extra so I can have the overflow go down to uh, my, my storage for me to grab when needed. Is that right? Yep, so each of these is what? 10? 10. All right, so 50. So it'll be 60. Seventy. This is all that I need right here. I'm gonna do two whole extra extras because I really I want to have. There are gonna be times when I use lots of copper sheets, so this is gonna overproduce by like thirty a minute, which I want to do. So we'll just have to get enough copper for this. So that might be a bit of a hassle, but. We'll get that set up. Well, well, we can we can get that supplying enough for that. So copper sheets should all be copper sheets. Yep. It's not worth doing if it's not worth overdoing, right? Copper sheets and copper sheets. So um, how much copper are we gonna need a minute? Twenty times times ten. So two hundred copper a minute. Is that right? Is 20 per minute, right? So 200 copper a minute is what we're going to need. It's kind of a lot, but I think we'll be able to do that. 200 copper a minute. Uh, it's art made by people who are good at programming and not art. Oh, okay. Programmer art is usually used for early development assets when the programmer sticks in something to work off of until the artist comes in and does something real. Ah, okay. I see. All right. Poor programmers not being good at art. Guess you can't be good at all the things, though. It's like me as a singer trying to get into autumn, uh, uh, audio engineering. I want to be good at it, but it takes more training or different types of training or different skill sets than I actually have. Uh, crap, I don't have a power guy here. Okay, but I can go here. Good. There. Oh god, I'm gonna need more wire, aren't I? Or copper or cable. Whoops. I didn't need to be here. I didn't need to do this. I didn't like any of that. Uh overdoing that true. You just made a sink for sinking fifty motors per minute factory, like ten assemblers making motors. Holy crap. That is definitely For motors? God, motors are complicated as hell. 
Almost went crazy putting together my motor production. You're crazy. You're crazy. Also, you're stunning. But also crazy. Okay. There. There. Okay. And then for these guys, I will just do this guy right here. For that guy. It's only riders and shaders. Like two 780 lines of wire. Oof. I think it was the wire that drove me crazy. Because you have to get so many belts for the wire. But maybe you're at a later stage in the game where you have better belts. That might have been the reason why I had such an issue. Because I didn't have the belts for it. Alright, let me get all the... Um... Oh, I can't hear anything. A sound. Let me get all the um, platforms in place here. I want to do... I need to get a new headphone wire extender. With my new audio interface thing, it's not... The contacts aren't good. So I lose sound sometimes. At least it's not a computer issue or a... What was it that I had an issue before with? It was like a... A power supply issue or something. At least it's not that. But God, it's freaking dark. They really do need to add lights to the game. I guess I have a light, right? Flashlight? No, L? What's the button for the light? B? Yeah, that's, that's pretty crappy little light. Alright, well, it's something, I guess. I got a crappy little flashlight. Oh, whoa, whoa, why did I get rid of this guy? Whoa, I didn't. It's just... Laggy game is laggy, I guess. Let's get all of our um, platforms in place here. Because safety is last here at Rand Inc. Safety is last. Zero days since last accident. Hey, he's actually putting things in the right place for once. That's nice. There. Uh, there's a good uh, iron alternate for screws. I think I'm using that. Casted screws? I think I'm using those. For, for a, no, a number of my builds. That's why I use perm day mod. Oh, there's a mod that always keeps it lit. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of nice. A little, little 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 cheesy, but but nice just be to be able to see. I could definitely understand using that. Just because the lighting is kind of like... Until they add lighting. If we can freaking make motors automatically with all this stuff, how the hell can't we make just some freaking lights? Well, I... Th Oops. I think that's probably something they're working on. A lighting thing. I know there's a lighting mod, actually. That uh, some YouTubers I've seen have talked about using... There's a lights mod, but it kills F... Uh, there is a lights mod that killed F kills FPS. It's more calculations for the CPU. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's that. Alright, so that is... Copper sheets, quick wire. That is everything for the AI limiters. So next I need to see if we can make enough quartz crystal. So that's what this final row is going to be here. There's also steel uh, screws. Oh, okay. Which probably make even more a minute, I'm sure. All right. So how many... Oh, crap. I did run out of cable. How many um, stuff do I need? It? I have a bunch of quartz crystal already made when I was automating it, but I got rid of that because of space issues. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. And then gotta run all the way. Kinda wish I had a thing up there, but every time I add another floor, I have to add another hyper tube, so it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain. So I got to figure out how much, how many crystal, how much crystal quartz I need to make a minute, and if I, hopefully, we'll have space to do it. I might have to do some overclock. I did not mean to go there. Overclocking, I might need to do to make it fit in that space. More calculations for CPU, like how those shadows cast, etc. Now it's movie time. Today is Thor The Dark World. See you another time or after a movie if I'm online. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely be here. But uh, enjoy, enjoy your movie. Thor Dark World. I'm not sure if I've seen that one. Thor Ragnarok I've seen. Alright, let's see here. So, setting up the quartz crystal automation here. Constructor. That right. I think that's over one space. Never get this right the first time. Okay, that's right, and that's right, I believe. That looks right. Yeah, just a little overlap. How much quartz crystal can we make a minute? 22.5, and I need... Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be able to make plenty. So if I do a full row of this... So, so I will have excess. Uh, which is, I think, what I originally had. We'll have to check our numbers to make sure. Two. Two. Why am you not giving me a green line? There should be one perfectly lined up here. Give me a green line. I guess the assembler got in the way or something. There we go. So we'll do these all as quartz crystal. I'll we'll need to figure out, make sure we got the right amount of quartz being supplied. Get it set, I'm sent up here. But you've heard an interim solution. They're just going to make the night a little less dark. They should. It's pretty darn dark. Pretty darn dark. That's for sure. Or at least it's pretty darn dark with that when it's at night and you're inside a factory, at least. There and there. 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 And there. And we will make good, efficient use of our space on this floor. There's a couple places over there where we're not using all of our space, but that's okay. We're getting to the high-end stuff that you can't make a ton of per minute. You... Just don't make as many, um, like manufacturers and assemblers as you do constructors for the prerequisite materials. There. There. Okay, so that's good. Let's get power lines. Hope I don't run out of metal rods. I think we'll have enough to finish this. Or iron rods, not metal rods. We will have finally replaced all the, uh, the quartz stuff that I had earlier that I got rid of. And it's actually a real part of our factory and not a uh, just quickly tacked on thing that we had before. Okay, so... Quartz crystal, we're going to be making 22.5 times 5 a minute, which is way more than we need. So the excess will go down. That's good. Um, we'll do an overflow thing for that. So how much quartz crystal, how much raw quartz a minute do we need? 37.5 times 5. 37.5 times 5. 187.5 quartz a minute. 187.5 quartz a minute. So let's go make sure we have that. We are going to have to send up copper here, but we're almost... We almost have everything set up, actually, for this. This is... 
not actually too complicated to build, which I'm very happy about. All right, so let's go check how much quartz we're making and then get it up here. So um, I think what I had was it coming in the side of the factory. I probably want to change that just because it's the only one doing that. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get my jetpack here. Yeah, the quartz was coming in the side over here. I think I'd rather have it coming in the back. Giggity. Which wouldn't be too hard to make happen here. So let's um, go down here and figure out where we want it to come in. Because we have two rows of new copper dudes, which we're going to have come in this middle row. And then we can have other stuff go on this row. So for the quartz, we can have it come in this row right here. So this will be the quartz. And it's 187.5 a minute. So we need a tier 3 belt for that, I believe, right? Tier 3 belts do 270 a minute. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's... Bust our way through this wall here. Alright, so 187.5 raw quartz a minute. Let's go see if we got that. If we're supplying that much. I have a feeling we are because I think I probably did five constructors worth before. But I just want to verify so I'm not undersupplying anything. Gotta double check and do your maths, man. Just because it'll give me some iron rods back, too. Okay, Crystal Quartz, where are you coming from? Crystal Quartz is from way over here. Uh, we are watching all Marvel movies is number 9 of 23. I want to do that. I want to do that, but I want to do it when I have somebody to do it with. So I'm like waiting till I have a nerdy girlfriend that we can do that with at some point. So one day I'll do that because there are a number I've not watched. There are a number I've seen. I have not seen. So I also want to do that too. FRD dot. That'd be a fun, fun thing to do. It's going to take all these poles just because I want to have those resources back. And it's fine if these things float. It's fine. Leave that one guy there. All right, so I need 187.5 a minute. How much are we doing? 120. Okay, yeah, we're doing like 240 a minute, aren't we? Yeah, so we're doing 240 a minute. We're doing way more than we need, so that's good. Again, better to overproduce than underproduce. So that'll be enough. So I just need to plug all these things in. Do I want to get the copper set up now? Now let's do these one at a time. So let's do this one get the quartz going and then we'll do the copper because we're probably going to have to find another source of copper that we can get 200 a minute so that'll be that'll be fun tasty tasty mass that's right hit people guy I like your name by the way hit, hit people guy your name could totally be one of the names for a hero or villain in city of heroes the game that i've been playing off stream lately What's your superhero name? I'm a hit people guy. Ooh, what do you do? I hit people and I'm a guy. Awesome. I like it. I'm a fan. All right, so we need to get this all the way up to there. Beaconing your resources points. Oh my god. Funny story. That was your COH name for your first character. Was it really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. Well, and I've been talking about Studio of Heroes lately because there's... For some reason, I just had an itch to play. And I recently found City of Heroes Homecoming, which is like a free-to-play um, re-release. Not really re-release. It's a free-to-play version. Not, um, not actually done by the devs of the game. It's done by some, like, fans. And apparently it hasn't been pulled, so apparently it's legal. So, you haven't played Homecoming, though? I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. It's got I think it's got some stuff in the game that I didn't have. I, I don't think was in the game when I played it. Because I stopped playing before the game was, you know, uh died at the age of whatever. I think it was like twenty twelve that it, it, it the game died or whatever, but 
Um, okay, so actually I think the best way to do this will be a wall guy, like kind of halfway in between here. Something like that. Oh, and then we do... Really? You're not going to let me put that there, even though there literally was one there before? Great. Um, okay, well, can I place it... Well, let me place it against the wall. It won't, like, snap to the wall. All right. So I guess I'm just going to have to do... Uh kind of eyeball this. Well, maybe I don't have to eyeball it. If I do a... If I do a foundation here, I can kind of snap that in place. It was a good game. If you play it now, it's kind of dated, but if you go in to play it knowing it's dated, then, like, I'm having a good time. Like, I just kind of want to scratch my MMO itch that I haven't scratched in a while in a very satisfactory way, using a pun from this video game. Um, so... Nice there, that will work. I am enjoying it as a way to scratch my MMO itch. And just to give me something different to do when I'm not streaming for fun. All right, how am I going to make this work? Because that's going to go through the wall if I try to do this, right? Yeah, that goes through the wall. So let me do a wall mount right there. Now we can get rid of that after we get this in place, I think. There we go. Where's that guy? Beautiful. All right, so that's 240 quarts a minute for the 187.5 that we need. So that'll be plenty. Now I just got to plug all the things in. Okay, this little wavy thing, I, it's just its just bugging me just a little bit. Can't handle it. I got to change this. So it was there. I needed to go down one space. There we go. That makes me feel much better. That makes me feel much better. Okay, so let's go up to the top and plug all these things in and get the quartz crystal all fed through and going where it needs to go. Hit people guy. I love it. Hit people guy. <laughs> what was he? Was he a brute? Was he a scrapper? Was he a... What did they call it? The tankers? So many different classes you can play in that game. All right, so let me actually get rid of the quartz that I have on me because I don't want to have it on me. He was a super strength and vulnerable tank. Nice, very nice. I'm per I'm currently playing a um, plants, um, plants martial arts dominator because I never really played a dominator uh, before. I always played a controller. And the Dominator is fun because it does more damage while the controller did like more supporty stuff. So, okay. Your other in, uh, main character was an ice device blaster called Cold Sore. <laughs> Cold Sore. Well done. Well done. Uh, let me see. I think I can do tier one belts on these. Let me make sure before I plug them in. Oh, you know, I have a freaking. I have vertical movement. Use it, Rand. Use it. I always design characters based on book or movie characters that I like. So, um, 37.5 and it creates 22. So, yeah, these can all be Mark 1s. So, my characters are like... My Dominator's name is Kelsier, which is a character from a Brandon Sanderson book called um, the Mistborn series. So, that's the kind of stuff I'm doing. All right. So, we're going to do... We're going to do head bump test level here. And I believe that will do what we want it to do. Them adding those classes from COV was really cool. Yeah, the City of Villains. You missed the Rad Rad as a power set because it was amazing. The more people in your group that had it. Uh, radiation, Radiation. I forget what that did. Okay, head bump. The more people had it, the better it was. I don't remember that. But again, it's been many years since I played. I'm still trying to remember all the things with, like, the 
enhancements for your powers, like there's IOs and there's now inventions and things that didn't exist when I played it and stuff, I think. So there's kind of having to relearn the game myself. Rad Rad had stacking debuff dots and a power energy recharge buff that stacked. Oh, so the more people that did radiation, the more energy you got back and the more the debuffs and dots stacked. Okay, that is that does sound pretty OP. Did they take that away? Did they like nerf it? Because it sounds sounds too OP that it's like something they probably had to nerf. You don't think they took it away? Okay. Alright, so let's see here. I need this to actually go up to the second level immediately. So that it goes in there. So we're gonna do this guy here. And we're gonna do a Mark III belt all the way across. And I got some crystal on me now, didn't I? Yeah, I can throw that in there once we get that done. Okay, so let's do... Man, I still... I cannot wait till the time when stackable poles will not be a separate thing that I have to build every time I want to build them. I cannot wait till, till that day. One day that will be a thing. But it is not this day. Okay. Uh... This is going to be the final one, so this one can be a tier 1 belt. There. And the autosave lag. Okay, so that should be right. Okay, very nice. One day that'll be a thing, one day. Actually, it probably won't be a thing, and I'll just keep whining about it forever. Because that's what I do. When I play video games, I whine about things forever. Ad nauseum. Till you can't stand it anymore. And you want to say, Rand, stop it. So how are we going to do this? So this is going to, we're going to have an overflow. This is going to go into one of these guys. I'll have to figure the output. I'll figure the outputs next. Let's do, uh, get this finished. Then we'll finish out, uh, figure out how we want to do the outputs. So splitters. Splitter guys. Wow, it's so random that you came to my stream today for for Satisfactory with a person f with a name based on the game that I just happened to be... Like, uh, literally two days ago, I started playing City Heroes for fun again. It's really... It's serendipitous, you might say. It's really funny. Okay, so these can all be Mark 1s. Serendipity. Movie starring John Cusack and... Somebody else. Sandra Bullock? I don't remember. One of those chick flick movies. So it keeps you coming back? The serendipity? <laughs> serendipity will keep everyone coming back for more. Okay, so here. One, two. So I'll do that until we get to the... Let's go ahead and just do tier three belt immediately, I guess. Um, yeah. It's fine. We got lots of steel, steel stuff. Let's take this down as far as possible. There. And the last guy is up here. Okay, and then we do mergers all along the watchtower here. No, the gaming and complaining. Oh, okay. Well, I personally come back for serendipity, but the gaming and the complaining, I can understand coming back for that too. <laughs> I watch, uh, one of the streams I watch is uh, uh, Crip play Hearthstone. And I guess I, 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 f I feel like he is my similar gaming soul animal because he also whines about everything in his games so lucky god never lucky man hashtag never lucky okay so there's that um so now we need to figure out where this is going so that's all plugged in uh is it all plugged in no i gotta put in the belts take off the jetpack 
God, I really wish you could do jetpack and the other thing. Uh, that's another another mod I need to get the power suit or whatever you can use mod, the jetpack and the uh, the uh, leggy leggy majiggers. Whatever those things are called, blade runners. What decided me on a desert start? Um, the fact that I hadn't played it yet, um, because I have played. I played Satisfactory a year or two ago, and the desert was the new, the cool new thing they added with this uh, update. So I wanted to play the new biome. That's that's what got me doing it. Just wanted to play the new biome, basically. Um, okay, so this is what am I creating? Quartz crystal. Oh, this goes directly... Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Um, I need this to go straight up to the next level. So nothing special. Just I, I, hadn't, I hadn't played this biome yet, and it was the new one. So. so what I want to do... This is going to be the main thing that goes up there. And then we're going to have an overflow that goes down to storage. That's going to be the plan. That's going to be the easier way to make this happen. So now that we have the smart, smart splitters, I need AI limiters. Uh, damn, I thought I had a bunch of those. I need to just make a bunch of AI limiters. What do AI limiters take to make? I don't know, but I think crystal is one of the things. So hopefully I have stuff on me to make those. Okay. Have you played a ton of this game, Hit People Guy? Are you a are you a satisfactory guru? AI limiters. Make 14 of them. Oh, it's only quick wire and copper. Copper sheets. I guess I need more quick wire if I want to make more of these guys. I think it only takes one of these to make this though, so I guess this will let me make a decent number of them. I do have Caterium on me. You know what? Let me actually make a bunch of quick wire so I can make more of these guys. You're at tier five, six. You just started working. Just started working oil. Okay, nice. Yeah, we uh, we're just a little bit ahead of you because um, we the last two streams have been working on oil stuff. Last two or three streams we were, we were working on oil stuff. So we just got um, we got um, fuel generator set up last stream, which has been huge because I was just becoming such a pain to create more. Um, more coal power because every time you needed to create more coal you need to get more you know water piped in and all that stuff and the fuel generators are so much better you keep rebuilding your factory at base level because you can't decide between mine and smelt ship or mine smelt mine and smelt then ship or mine then ship and smelt yeah my the last time i played this game um one of the youtubers i watched that kind of influenced how i wanted to build did all the smelting on site and i've just always preferred that my the first time i did it i think i did smelting in my factory and it's just so much extra stuff you got to put in your in your factory so i think i really do prefer smite smelting on site because then you just have the smelted material coming into your factory and i think i just prefer that by a lot so if that's what you're talking about wow i'll keep Having our camera go through the wall there. There's probably um, some cool builds you can do where you have like a whole bottom floor of your factory that's a, just a giant smelting factory, which sounds pretty cool. But uh, also sounds like it'd be you'd have to plan that really well, so you'd have plenty of space, basically. All right, so we're gonna do a smart splitter, right? Um, overflow on the left or the right? Have the overflow be on the right. Byte output overflow. Beautiful. Okay. You're holding off for a bit on your single player game, and your friends have drifted off in your multiplayer game, but you think you'll be mine smelt, then ship afterwards when you start playing again? Yeah. It's definitely, that's definitely been my. It's helped me. I feel like it's helped me clean up a lot of my builds, too, to do it that way. All right, so this isn't going to need to go over there. So I actually need to build walls on the next floor up. So let me go build walls so I can build belts on the outside there. 
you understand kind of why they don't, since you can have catastrophic failure if you're not watching things. Oh, if they'd make dedicated servers. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, wait, do I have walls on this side yet? No, let me fill in. Do I have stuff to make a lot of walls? Uh, I have stuff to make some walls. Okay, let's do that. Let's get just this, these walls filled in so that I can... Just these walls. So I can put belts on the outside here without it. Uh, use, basically so I can use wall, wall conveyor snap two things. I need to do three, three levels of these. Hopefully I have enough iron for this. To go back down and get more iron probably. Okay, so there's those. Like if something is always running but you have a power supply problem, no way to get rid of overflow byproducts on fuel, for example. Checking back into the game to find everything is broken would suck. Yeah, I don't know. This game... I don't know. I don't know how well an always-on server would work for this game. There are probably people that have those, but they probably run them privately, right? Like, official servers... You know, especially with the thing... Trying to set something like that for a game that's like early access is probably always pretty dangerous. Because, you know, if you make a, a sweeping change to a major mechanic, like, all of a sudden you have lights in the game, you know, and all of a sudden that changes graphical requirements and all that stuff. Who knows what that would do to all your servers, you know? So I can definitely understand that. All right, so I do need a bunch more iron. Whew! This is, this is a big old factory we got going. Holy... Floors, Batman. We got a lot of floors. <laughs> we got a lot of floors in our in our uh, in our guy here. How many of those do I have? I need more. One, two, three, and let's grab some more iron plates. Do I need reinforced iron plates? Uh, I can grab a couple while we're here. There. One, two, three. There should be plenty for now. That's the thing of beauty and belts. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's, I, I, I want to say it's a mess, but it's actually kind of not a mess. It's a ballet. It's just, it's a ballet of belts, because this is all my storage. I'm really glad I set up my storage area back here, because otherwise I wouldn't, I would have been still in the factory with my storage, and it would have been kind of a mess. There's definitely better ways to do your storage, but I like my ballet of belts. A beltlet, one might say. A beltlet. <laughs> An outlet for beltlets. What's up, Jittery L? Looks great. Well, thank you. More belts than a Final Fantasy character. <laughs> Well played. I like it. Well played. Hey, Cloud, why do you wear so many belts? What do you mean? I have too many pairs of pants and swords that I need to keep on, keep from falling off. I have just the right amount of belts, okay? Don't be jealous of all my belts. You wish you had all these belts. Needs a freaking leather... He's got a lifetime membership at the Leather Belt Factory Store. Oh, God. I shouldn't try to make jokes. Why do you make jokes, Rand? You're bad at them. The only thing I don't like about my factory is... Well, the, the one thing that bugs me the most is this. Manufacturers are the only machine that are just a little bit taller, so my three high... Every floor has been three high, and my manufacturers that I started putting in come through the floor so I should have from the beginning made a four high floor but I wouldn't didn't want to change it halfway up so we just have manufacturers coming through the coming through the freaking floor I don't like it I don't like it but I don't want to change the design of my entire factory because of that one thing so kind of sucks kind of sucks I kind of wish that the um 
they had a little bit of uniformity between factories, constructors, and assemblers so that the so that design worked. The designs mesh better. But, you know, that's probably wishful thinking. It's they'd have that that probably just doesn't work with the way they've done it to have it work that way. So Alright, that should be enough to get That quartz over here, up here. Oh crap. Oh crap! Ow! Okay. Alright, so that's to get the quartz up there. So, overflow is going to go down to my quartz storage, which is actually pretty conveniently placed. Like I planned it. Um, so, I need a Mark three guy here that's going to go up to fly that guy over there somehow. I probably want to come in from underneath Giggity. So if I do something like... I do need to be careful about where I place this because I don't want it to get in the way of any of these guys coming out. So actually maybe... Thank you for the maybe have it go just up a small amount and then across. The hey people guy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that my friend. It's awesome. Welcome to the stream. Glad to, glad to have a fellow City of City of Heroes lover in the stream. Oh man, and you just get to the sub. Holy crap. Oh no. Latovsky is raiding with oh my god, a party of 131. Oh my god. Holy crap. We got a raid. We got a freaking raid. This is the oh god. Stop lagging while saving. Holy crap. You got to run, hit people, guys. Nice to see you and hope you have a good time with my stream. Well, now that we got a raid, we're going to have a we're going to have a party apparently. Oh my god. Running with runs with robots said to raid it, so blame him. Well, thanks to runs with robots. Runs with robots is awesome. Hangs out with our FTL streams a lot too. So, welcome welcome uh runs with robots and all the Latovsky people, all the Latovsky Raiders, welcome, my friends. That's awesome. We are playing some uh, good old Satisfactory, and it's awesome to have you people here. Okay, well, welcome all your people. Dude hustles for sure. <laughs> What's up, Burns Vibe? All right, so we're we're currently for those if if y'all just came from a Satisfactory, I assume you did stream. I'm working on getting crystal oscillators uh, automated. It's currently what I'm working on. So I got a manufacturer over there that I'm trying to supply. So let me get the uh, let me go get the put the wall in place so I can figure out where this is going. Runs from robots, such a hustler. Well, if I benefit, <laughs> I can't complain. But thank you so much for for the raid. Appreciate that, uh, Latovsky. I'll have to give you a, I'll have to give you a follow. Were you playing some Satisfactory? Can I can I click on you? Where are you? I need to go to your to your channel so I can give you a follow. And Latos Latovsky, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm gonna return that favor right now. There you go, so I can check you out sometime. Oh, looks like you've been playing some Dark Souls. Is that what you've been playing? And there's my voice coming through because the host. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, what what were you what were you streaming? Okay, so we're gonna have this come in to do do do. Uh, right next to it. So here, I'm thinking is where we're gonna have that come in. Yeah. So for now, now for something completely different. If you were playing Dark Souls or whatever you're playing, do you resting an old favorite Dark Souls too? Nice. Dark Souls are great games, but I will say. Uh, when I when I streamed it, my god, was that a salty was that a salty game? That was a game that had very much salt. There was lots of salt. What am I doing? Crystal oscillators, and we don't make a ton of them. Actually, I'm gonna do two of these. I think we, I think I plan enough to do two of these, but still, it's not gonna be a ton. So let's do this. So it goes. That's the wrong direction. We want in to come from here. Probably I want this to go up. So go like that. 
And then this guy. Oops. There. That's so we have it go in the right direction. Uh, you have to jet. It's uh, 4 a.m. Oh, wow. Hope I have a good stream and you'll try to catch me another time because it's... This is the kind of game your suit that's super comfy for you. Awesome. Well, I'll definitely have to check out your stream as well, Latowski. Appreciate the raid, my friend. Have a great night. Go to sleep. It's 4 a.m. Why are you still awake? All right. So this is going to be um, crystal oscillators. I mean, uh, yeah, crystal oscillators. So we're going to have input here. So I think I did the math to do two of these. Let me actually get the second manufacturer set up here. I did the math that I can do two of these, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're easily going to be able to do double manufacturing of these guys. So. So I need to get a second manufacturer here. Uh, let me see where we get this lined up. Let's see if I can do this right the first time, hopefully. So I want it to be right. Damn, I think I'm off by one. Yeah, that was almost right. Actually, this might be the better setup here. Because... Leaves more room for this thing. Uh, no, let's let's make it be exactly the same as this guy. So it's it's just back. Just off of this guy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because this this works like this. Yeah, so let's make it let's let's make it match. I think my second group of assemble of manufacturers I slightly s lined up slightly different than my first ones. So it's a little a little sad about that. Okay, so it's gonna be here. It's gonna be just back off it. That should be right. That looks right. And I match this one up to the one below. Okay. So that should be good. Alright, so this is going to be... Crystal, the alternate crystal oscillators. 1.9 a minute, so that's definitely a Mark One belt here. This guy down to... Man, that's the largest raid we've had in a while. Freaking hundred-something people. Probably people... Play this type of game though, since it came from Dark Souls run, but still, that's pretty awesome, Dave. It's such a big raid. It's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be those guys, and we can power this guy here. How's our power looking, by the way, as we add all this stuff? It's backing up to 3,600 or so. So got plenty, plenty of gigawatts and or gigawatts to work with there. All right, so this will be where the inputs are gonna go. And um, hopefully I can do a bit of a walkway right between here without things overlapping. Yeah, this will work. Probably won't have a thing go over there, but we're not going to spend a super long amount of time getting that set up yet. But we'll just get this guy here. Okay, so crystal uh, oscillator. So we need... Uh, way less quartz crystal a minute than we are making, but that's what we were setting up here, the inputs for this. So let's get... Let's get that set up. So that's coming from over there. I should probably have my jetpack while I'm working with stuff out here. Jetpack on. All right, so it's over there. So I kind of want to go straight across and then up into this guy, I think is what I want to do. So Mark th three guy. I just need to get the right level, though. I need to get on your level, son. Um, I, need a, I need a platform to work with here. On the catwalk. On the catwalk. Okay, so basically we want to have this guy go straight across, so I need to figure out what row that'll be on. Where I need to put my wall thing. So right... There, I think? Let's see if I got that right. Is 
that straight? Hey, not, not, not too bad for government work or whatever, however that saying goes. Uh, let's see here. Close enough for government work. Is that, is that, is that how that goes? Okay, so that will be right there. And that will be right there. Hey! Straight on in. Beautiful. B-A-utiful. All right, so that should... I should see... Quartz Crystal coming in. Very nice. And then, can I fly up here? Uh, uh, just barely. Okay. And we'll get rid of that for now. Okay, so that's Quartz Crystal coming in. Very nice. Um... Close enough for rock and roll? Is that, is that a saying? I don't know if I know that saying. <laughs> okay, so we need to get uh, stackable poles here to get our setup here. So I'll have this one probably be the top one since it's the first thing I have in place. So... Will I, will I be able to get it up there? Giggity. Actually, I think I can... I can go up to there, and then the next one go up to the top. I believe is how we'll do this. Close enough for rock and roll. Or close enough for jazz, right? I think I've heard that before. Close enough for jazz. There we go. And so then this will go across until... Set this up correctly here. Um, let me get a let me get a guy set up right here actually. Um, what's the level for that top one? Let's let's find out. I think it's one down. See, is that straight? On the same level or does that go down? Actually it goes down, so it looks like it does need to be right just like this. Yes, that looks like it's on the same level. Okay, good. What is this ketchup, dude? Um, that is a, a philosophical question right there. What is this? This is life. This is Twitch. This is the internet. This is video games. If you mean this game, this is satisfactory. This game is satisfactory, if that's what you're asking. Perfect. But you're going to have to clarify your, your question. <laughs> I got lots of answers for you. Got lots of answers. But this game is satisfactory, if that's what you're asking, which is a uh, automation... Automation exploration... Game. You just came into the stream? Well, this game is satisfactory. That's what this is. So, hopefully that answers your question. What do you do in this game? You build stuff. Uh, this game is like if you've ever heard of Factorio or... Um, I guess you could compare it kind of to like Minecraft maybe, but not really. It's like Factorio meets... Yeah, I don't want this. Factorio meets... Uh, what was that? somebody say earlier? Subnautica? No, I don't want to do it that way. Um, uh, because this is going to be... We need the output of this guy. Factorio meets Subnautica. If you've ever heard of either of those games. Less survival than Subnautica, more building. Like a more building version of Subnautica, I guess you could call it. There we go. And then merger, so we get the outputs. Just go ahead and set them up now. There. And good. But it's lots of building. So what I'm doing right now is I'm building something on top of a very large building. I have built everything you see. All this belongs to me. I have a big giant oil refinery station out there. I got a bunch of things sending me raw materials like iron, copper, steel. Thank you for the follow. Concrete, all sorts of cool stuff. Ketchup dude, thank you for the follow. And it's all in this big giant factory that we are on like the... 18th floor of building stuff. So that's what this game is. 
And it's actually time for my first break. So, um, really quickly, my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. If there's anybody in the stream, if you're having a good time, I'll hope you hit the follow. Because uh, we're having a lot of time with Satisfactory. We'll come back. We will finish building crystal oscillators and get all this set up. And, uh, and hang out with you wonderful people. So thanks for hanging out, y'all rock. I'll see you in just a minute as I run quick 60 second word of ads. See you in just a second, my friends.